Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa, and I'm Jeff. my family is all over the place. Um, we did a video a couple days ago, and you guys probably saw it already, where we tie-dyed a bunch of shirts, and they turned out amazing, but we also wanted to bleach dye some shirts, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Hey, can you take Willow outside to go potty? Yeah. This is our puppy, Willow. She is almost six months old, and we're trying to get her trained, but it's been a little rough. <laughs> so go outside, go potty. Okay, Gabrielle had her wisdom teeth out yesterday. How are you doing? Sore and I'm enjoying mushroom and ramen soup. That's dad's college trick. Yeah. If you guys did not, okay, honey, you didn't know you can put uh, mushroom ramen or mushroom soup and ramen together. Where's dad? Anything. Tell what's the recipe? Anything. I won't come over there because I don't think Gemma has clothes on. But what's the what's the recipe? Any cream soup. I usually do frozen vegetables and cream soup with ramen. Do you, and you also add how much water? So for the people now. Regular for soup. Like make the soup as the base. Okay. Yep. All right. So try it out. Do you like it? Is it good? It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. How's your? I mean, you're not bruised. I'm not bruised. I thought I would be a lot more swollen because my bottom. Lip lip Plus, lip. you're like being treated like a queen. You're over here. You got Gatorade, iPad, TV. What are you watching? <laughs> This is Gemma's show. I don't, want, okay. I don't even have the remote right now. Do you want to help us if we bleach dye uh, some shirts later? Uh, yeah, I might walk over there. Yeah, we'll make sure. We've been staying on top of her pain meds, so okay. she should be good. But we'll see. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I think that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Willow, did you go potty? She would pee. Good, 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 good. We actually have been considering sending her to like a puppy boot camp for like i think what is it 10 days honey or two weeks yeah 10 days, um two weeks, I think. with like where they go to like a trainer's house where they can learn like basic commands like really learn them without being in a house with a distraction of seven people and a bunch of children but we're still looking for someone that can do it locally for us that's not like booked out really far so she may be taking a little trip in the future if we can find somebody and that i think would help us a lot because Willow is a lot different than Buttercup was when Buttercup was a baby. Where's Buttercup? Oh, she's sleeping. That looks good. Yeah, so I'm making lunch for the kids that did not have ramen soup. Uh, we have leftover tacos from last night, but actually, while I'm doing this, I should show you guys my trick for mess-free taco eating for toddlers. Wow. As I almost threw it behind me. I take a tortilla and I put refried beans on it. She doesn't like lettuce, so I'm not gonna put lettuce in hers, but I'm gonna put a little bit of taco meat and then some cheese. And then this is where the magic happens. It's completely sealed all the way around and it doesn't make a mess. Nice. Mom hack. <laughs> do you want a burrito or tacos? I'll do a burrito. Either. Yeah, this one's for Gemma because it's sealed all the way. I don't do that on all the other kids. Like I put theirs like in the middle where it's like an actual taco. But for Gemma, that's like the best way to do it. Like if you have a toddler or baby that wants to eat something like that, not make a mess. I love it. Okay, guys, change of plans. Uh, we've been filming some TikToks and one of them involved going out in our garage. And I think somebody either broke into our garage or I don't know where the house is haunted. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to show you what I found. I found we were walking out there and this is the weirdest thing. So we moved into this house in 2017, the summer of 17, right? Look what we found on the door in our garage. Barefoot Gabe. That has been, that has been painted since we moved in. It says Barefoot Gabe in nobody's handwriting that belongs to anybody in our house. And it is dated September 29th of 2018. Oh my God, it's my birthday. So September what? 29th. Don't look at our garage, by the way. We're organizing it. It's September gross. 29th is my birthday. Okay. So who is Barefoot Gabe and who, that's at the height of either a short man or a teenager, I'm not sure. Gabe, but Barefoot Gabe. Seriously, I'm seriously, scared. who is this person and why are they marking their height on our garage door? And I have no idea. Are you not playing a trick on me? And why don't they come over again? Are you, on, we don't know anybody Gabe. named Gabe. You don't no, know anybody named Gabe, right? Maybe we, okay, so now we have a clue. It was her birthday. Maybe it was a birthday party where we had multiple people, like kind of lesser known people. So we don't we invite unknown people to our not, daughter's birthday. Not unknown, but lesser known, like the kid from school's dad. Maybe Mr. Gabe. The, I don't have a friend. Who we don't Gabe. know anybody named Gabe. You're not. This isn't you. You didn't do this. Oh no! I, look, that's like a, that would be a terrible prank. <laughs> I got you good. <laughs> it's a long, the long haul. Two, two years later. Got you good. I also want to know why it took us two years to find it. Yeah, see that's the thing, is I never noticed it. Me neither. So I don't know. So the date they could be throwing us too. Right? Who, 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 okay, who my question is who is in here? Our garage? The only person I can think of is the guy that exchanged the water heater. I but can check if his name was Gabe. 
Maybe he just <laughs> threw the wrong date on there. He just likes to be measured. <laughs> I have no idea. I think our house is haunted. Oh, man. Did you see it? Uh, yeah, I saw it. And I was like, it doesn't look like anybody's handwriting in our family. It was like all in capitals and bubble writing and slanted. And I was, and I was like, also, my So somebody family, either broke into our, I don't know, somebody broke into our garage or what, but to play a prank? Have, like a stalker. I have no idea. Hey, Gretchen, what's going on with your hair today? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a look. <laughs> are you needing any more meds? Are you good? Uh, no, I think I took mine a couple hours ago. I'm going to take some before dinner. You actually are in surprisingly good spirits considering the work that they did, did on you yesterday. I What's up? Let's check one more time. Let's go. Let's check go about check what? Is Dad out there trying to scare me? Is he? She's probably trying to scare me, guys. What? Ah! <laughs> I knew day. it! I knew it! Get out of here! <laughs> so I always thought barefoot was a given, right? You don't measure yourself with shoes on and like, oh look, I got I gained two inches yesterday. Right? Yeah. So barefoot barefoot is kind of the weird I just want to know the weird who thing in to our me. Garage without our permission, barefoot. Obviously Gabe. <laughs> Right? And I mean, you, you swear to God it was a meal. No, I no, no. But the like totally like I've gone in and out of that garage a million times. I've never seen that. I, before. Same. I've, I've never, never seen, seen it I until have, just I, today. I just notice details over here. I don't notice the big boxes. It's just the details. Yeah, it's the small details. So I don't know. It's it's. Super... I don't. I don't know what to think right now. I just something. Did, were we locking that side door? We need to make sure. It's oh locked. yeah, we they're all locked. Over there, we should probably check the footage. Open the door. Perfect game. What's in the way? <laughs> So also I forgot to mention earlier, whoa, what was that? Uh, I just went. <laughs> um, we picked up our P.O. Box mail the last time we went to the grocery store and we had a bunch of letters and stuff. So thank you guys so much if you have sent us fan mail. Um, got some more of my Truman's cleaning products, which I've been loving. Um, I did a brand deal with them over on my mom channel. So I'll leave, uh, they gave me a discount code, I think. I'll leave it down in the description box below if you want to find out more. And I also got my... Boxy charm, which I'm in love with as well. So that's just like a bunch of makeup and I get it in PR not sponsored by them But they I think also have a discount code. So if I can find it I'll leave it in the description box and then these look like a couple books So Jeff opened this already and I think this is from a friend of ours So this one is called Tales of Tal Talamor The Wizard's Curse sounds cool. Ashley Chick a friend of ours Fellow YouTubers sent this to us. We actually haven't seen them in a while. They're a super cool family. Thank you guys so much for sending this. This is super cool. And then this one came as well, and I took a peek inside, and it looks like it's also a book. And this is from the Earl family, Earl's family, who is also a YouTube family. And they sent us a copy of their book that I think that just came out. So thank you, guys. That's super nice of you. That's cool. Yeah, I've got some reading to do. The go. There you go. What's that? I don't know. I was just doing a song I heard. So, on TikTok? Yeah. We've been doing TikTok, by the way, guys. You should follow us over there. We just hit 100,000 followers, so that's awesome. Uh, can you leave it on the screen? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, I scrunched up the shirt. We're going to do the scrunch, like, tie-dye technique on all of these because I feel like that is what's going to look the best. And I already did one. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically, you just scrunch it up. And then you're going to take a bunch of rubber bands and <laughs> attempt. <laughs> to like put them all around. It's just gonna take a minute. Um, and then we're gonna put bleach on them and see what happens. All right, and I got this one. I always kind of like this shirt. It's got kind of like an anchor on it, but Melissa said she's gonna make it extra snazzy. I wanna make it into a women's crop top and you what? said you don't want me to. I have to re-scrunch this because it was like hard to rubber band. Oh. So you just kind of like do this and then bring it all together. <laughs> and you need to wear gloves. I mean, I recommend it if you're doing tie-dye too, but you have to wear gloves if you're doing bleach dye. You probably don't need the gloves until you're bleaching though. That, well, that, yeah. I'm just extra prepared. <laughs> so this one, we rolled up and then put it into like a snake pattern and we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, so we've got our three shirts and this is just bleach with a little bit of water um, because it was concentrated bleach. So I'm just gonna coat them like I would with tie-dye and then we're gonna hope for the best. All right. So I guess. I'll just go. Don't mind Willow. She's being crazy lately. Do we flip it? I, I'm going to. Okay. So I'm a little nervous, but... Also, you're doing it dry, right? When we did the colors, you did it wet. Tie-dye was wet. That is true. All right, shirt number two. I've seen colored shirts turn out, like, super weird in, like, different colors. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens to this one. 
This is also not wanting to absorb this. Yeah, do, I, th do I think it's it? when it's dry. Yeah, the dry ones don't really absorb it. I don't know why. All the tutorials I watched were dry. So well, can I soak that shirt before? Okay, never too mind. Too late, too late. We're already doing it. I feel it. like you need to go slower and like, sorry, I wasn't even aiming the camera right. If you just go really slow, it'll absorb in, and then once it's wet, it can absorb more. Well, I'm gonna t to flip them over, and then I mean, I can make sure I get good coverage by like flipping it and making sure they are, you know, getting okay. enough. Ooh, this bleach smell though is strong. Yep, we got to do it. And then we'll take all these things outside. Yeah, we're taking them outside. We're not gonna keep these in our house because this is out of control strong. Oh, wow. look at my snake! My snake's already changing colors. Yeah, I wonder what these are gonna look like. I'm so excited. Well, are we not going to leave it sitting in bleach though, are we? Yeah, for a couple hours. And then we would have to rinse them and wash them like the tie-dye. But I feel like like this one, it's already losing a lot of color. So maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I need to make put more bleach in this. No, it's enough, I think. I uh, think it's enough. I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh, it's so strong. Oh my gosh. So craziest thing ever. This is having some sort of chemical reaction. And this shirt is hot. Which yeah, is scary. I think the bleach is like burning it. Yeah, it might be. So these are about done. This is gonna go outside, and then we're gonna see what they turned out. All right, how they turned let's out get them out. Bit. So all three of the shirts are in a cold water rinse cycle right now in our washing machine. I have to say, this is the first time I've done this. I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing it all outside. And if you use like a container like we did to kind of keep the shirts in while you're spraying, use glass um, because I feel like that's probably the safest thing. I rinsed them all out in cold water in the bathtub and now we wait and see how they turn out. I feel like they look really good so far though. And Jeff really liked them. Which one do you think is gonna turn out the best? Um, I, I actually think the black one that's not my anchor is gonna turn out the best. Oh, really mine, my shirt. Okay, one. all right, all um, right. I'm a little disappointed. I think I think you just need to remember when you're dying or bleaching, I think it's blowing right down on the microphone. It might be, we've got a ceiling yeah. fan on. <laughs> so, um, but I think you have to remember that whatever, like, if you want this dyed, you definitely have to put it, like, towards the top. Well, probably, like, a twist. Things, right? Like, with mine, the anchor one, you're going to see there's, like, a little bit here, but then it's on the sides. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they turn out. Gabrielle's like, I'll wear whatever. Do you need medicine yet? I feel like we keep checking in on you, and you're just laying here, like... My mouth is really, really, really sore right now. So, you need meds. Okay. All right. I'll get you some meds. This is the quietest you guys have been all day. <laughs> Yeah, Gabrielle's gonna be having mashed potatoes and she had a little bit of tofu from the oh. vegetarian lettuce wraps. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Not too spicy for you? I'm still trying to chew it. If you want more, that's soft enough, you can totally eat it. And then you guys are having pizza because what? You hate vegetables now or? Uh, Daddy. No, you just don't like lettuce wraps? Okay, so it's about an hour later now and we went swimming, so I've got like a cover up on. Jeff just changed out of his suit, but I wanted to show you guys how the bleach dye turned out and how it compares to the tie dye. Yeah. So, these are the shirts. Yeah, there's the anchor one. Do you want to hold it up? Like yeah, from back pretty so you can cool. kind of see? So it's got more, like the bleach got more on the edges. I like it though. I still want to crop that one, I think, if you don't want it. What? So cool. I can turn it into a crop top. Yeah. Okay. Here's that one. And this one is like super it more, cute. It's more marbled. Yep. Like it. So that's cool. I really like that. This is actually Graceland's shirt, and I she's like super excited about what it. What I think happened is when we were dyeing, doing the tie dye on the other ones over here, they got a little blue or something on us. There's like a little dot of blue. You know what? Nobody will notice. It's still great. It's I love great. it. Love so, yeah, it. And then I, I want to show you guys the tie dye one. So this is what bleach dyeing does. And then this is tie dye. Yeah. So bleach is like dark to light. And right. This is and then this is white like to color. white to color. So these are some of the shirts and shorts and stuff that we made when we did that. So just so you guys can compare, check out our uh, tie dye video. It'll be probably up before this one. If you want to see how we did that and what designs we did. Um, is there anything else? Just Jeff, no, that's it. That's it. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. This is a long vlog, probably. <laughs> um, if you're not subscribed, you made it to the end. Make sure you're subscribed and thumbs up this video. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.